So if you've been curious about these Jelly Roll pens that write in white ink and go right onto color envelopes, I'm here to give you a little tutorial on them. If you purchase the variety pack like I did, you get the sizes 5, 8, and 10, 5 being the thinnest, 10 being the thicker one. I'm a fan of the 8, so that's what we're going to use for this tutorial. I suggest pulling that out, whatever pen you do decide, and writing on scrap paper because you want to get that ink going in that pen. So I have the Cricut Explore Air 2. I don't know if this is compatible with all the other ones. I'm assuming the maker's good. I've heard things about the joy that it doesn't work but you can stay tuned for this tutorial and see if it works for you so if you see my other tutorials you know i like to remove the blade for things like this uh we're gonna go obviously go into the pen clamp and replace that this is the marker i usually use so the little click noise you usually hear with the Cricut pens, you're going to hear something similar to it when you do the jelly rolls, but it's not going to be exactly like that. That's going to prevent it from stopping. So now let's go ahead and try to put the jelly rolls in just so you could see what you need to do in order to get this in right. So if you do this right, it should line up right above the G. Like you should see the whole Jelly Roll logo on the pen. And you're able to clamp it without any adjustments to it. Now I'm going to show you one more time so you can hear the little click noise you should be going for. It really should be just as simple as that, but is the Jelly Roll pen going to stop exactly where it needs to be? Of course not. you got to stop it. And here's just an example of going too far with it. Too far is obviously hitting the bottom, so you can't even get your paper underneath there. And once you end up figuring it all out, you can go ahead, set everything up, have your Cricut go ahead and print on your envelopes. And I'm going to show you the little final result. Ba-boom! And there she is. Like, how freaking stunning! It is the perfect combo of classic and elegant. I love how these came out. If you want more money-saving DIY tips and tricks, make sure you're following along.